ready for sailing!
made up for killing my abductors, Mistyos. Thank you. Try to stay out of trouble, all right? I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. Islands, two sides of the same coin. Delos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Delos. Read me the note again. Eagle bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis. Cruel leader of Delos Islands takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Podarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels could pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. We arrived just in time to help. You see, Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressive. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast, and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Podarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Podarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north, until one day they sent two maidens and five of their men to Vilos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said? <clears throat> Eagle bearing me. The short version, please. Odarkis, cruel leader, first for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha <laughs> ha! Here, Cassandra. Here, Varnavas.
There's the rebel hideout. Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself. Dressed in a dirty disguise? I came to help a fierce group of rebels. But I show up and you're all drunk. Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Delos was the heart of the Delian League. Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Delos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarchis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta, too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. Yeah. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Taletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos, not long before. <laughs> it's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Taletas needs our help now, though he'd never admit it. Sounds Spartan, all right.
talk to the Spartan. You fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now, or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you! But you're a general! To those men now, you need to think with your head! All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows! We didn't come here to hide! We came here to fight! And we will! But right now, we're outnumbered! We must be strategic! Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Thaletas, don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. This is going to be a long rebellion. What would you like? My thanks. Go 
think you are? Don't exactly blend in, do you? Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Villians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Podarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed! Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Vilos, find their stockpiles, and destroy them. <sighs> What's with all the whispering? If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? Who I work for is none of your business, stranger. Secrets are being kept from you, Mystios. Maybe you don't know who you really work for. If you know something, spit it out! If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house. See what this beggar has to say. Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. A note was left behind. A warning from Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. And what did the Mystios find? A body. 
A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his? Shh! They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means... By the gods, Podarkis is Kira's pater. Very wise, Mistyos, very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you, never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Mistyos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this. My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Protarchus. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her pater. Podarkis made me send her away. But she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. If Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house, I'm going to find it. Kintos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarkis' weapons and supplies. I need to stay hidden. Break their supplies, break their will.
rebelling was this much fun. For Vargas's troops will be helpless. destroy these without attracting attention. That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this. Is it done? Povarkis' well, guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is, I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I know you've struggled to get where you are. You've had to fight and claw for everything you have. I know, because I've done the same. We're survivors. I'm glad the gods brought you to our source, Cassandra. Some time alone would be nice. You must have many tales. It's time we got going. When Povarkis learns of what happened on Dilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Here. Scouts came back from Delos. The Mystios likes to set fires. She just might be the answer to her prayers. She's only mortal. From what I've heard, she's much more. The Athenians are weak. Now we strike Podarkis where he'll hurt most. His kidneys? <laughs> It's good to see you, Kira. Since you came here, I've actually started to believe we can win this rebellion. So, you were saying we strike. Guards protect the island's treasury in one location. If we find it and steal it, the soldiers go unpaid, unfed, and unarmed. Podarkis will finally be vulnerable. Then we can stick our blades in between his ribs, feed his liver to the dogs. Before we start feeding organs to animals, can you get me to the nation's purse? Our spies have located it in Miltiadis' fort. I'll have Praxos gather the troops. It's best if it's just the two of us. Easier to sneak in and out undetected. You just want me all to yourself, don't you? <laughs> Let's get going, then. Victory is close. I can feel it. We haven't won yet. The fort will be treacherous, and the gods can be fickle. It was the gods who sent you to me. I refuse to believe they'd send you here to die. So what do you think of our islands? I think I prefer Mykonos. They really don't like you shedding blood on Delos. 
<laughs> the priests are so terrified of desecrating the sacred grounds of Apollo. Women about to give birth are sipped over to Mykonos. What happens if they don't make it to show? Both the babies. for reinforcements and don't you die on me let's go Cards everywhere. I need to be careful. Done. Kira's going to want to see this. Cassandra, there you are. Good news, I hope. When the people of Dilos discover Podarkis lost every coin of their nation's treasure, 
They're going to rip him to pieces. You weakened Athens's grip over Delos, exposed Podarkis, and made way for a Spartan alliance. I could kiss you. I don't see anything holding you back. <sighs> you breathe life into me. If only you'd arrived on Delos before Thaletas. You and Thaletas? But the way you were at each other's throats in the cave? He's a stubborn, arrogant, glory-hungry Spartan. But behind all the bronze and brawn, there's a man I could see by my side when this is all over. If we survive. The two of you fighting Athenians on the beach sounds romantic. I'd hate to interfere. We should probably move. They're going to come looking for us. I don't think I've ever really said thank you for coming here. You've given us hope. I'll go back to the hideout. But if you keep this up, Podarkis is as good as dead. I may finally know peace. I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I'm in. Where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis. East from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks. Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I don't need to pray to the gods to hit my targets. <laughs> They've been known to disguise themselves as animals. I just like to warn them I'm coming. Because I always hit my targets. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. There's a spot down here where I used to hunt as a young girl. It was hunt or starve in those days. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far we've come. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Now 
Now show me how you use people. Excellent sword. This was a great idea. I'm glad you invited me. I'm glad you accepted. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. The hunt clears my mind, to reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'd be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. Billions have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to the world. Artemis smiles on you. Tell Artemis I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Don't make her jealous. And what about you? When this is all done, we could always use another set of capable hands. My journey isn't over yet. But I may settle down someday. You can do many things, Nistios. But settle down? I'm not so sure. Another challenge? Stop looking to the future to be happy when true happiness is right in front of you. You taught me that. <laughs> no. So the pirate has one blade at my throat and one at my stomach, and he says, How do you want to die, Mistyos? Fast or slow? My gods, what did you do? He was so focused on me. He never noticed my spear in his leg. He was dead before he knew what happened. His leg? A little trick my mother taught me. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles. Even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Cassandra. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you. Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> and you're my favorite, Mistyos. Thaletas can't know about this. I agree. In time, he will. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first... Well struck, Icarus.
Many brothers were lost to the Athenian docks, but we are still here. The Battle of the Three Hundred. Leonidas was lucky to have that many men. Today, we honor the fallen. Today, we send our enemies to Hades. Kira will fight and die for her people. We will do the same. We don't go home until these islands are ours. Thilos called. Sparta answered. Cassandra, I didn't think you'd come here after calling my plan a suicide mission. And miss your speech. Never. Athenians give speeches. Spartans give orders. Your men are brave, but they won't be enough. We need those reinforcements. They'd never get here alive. The Athenian navy is too powerful, and our ship is at the bottom of the sea. Mine isn't. You'd confront them in open waters? Not sure if you're brave or just mad. The Adresti and I have faced greater challenges than a few Athenian ships. You fight like Achilles reborn. But even you couldn't defeat the entire navy. But if I sink enough ships, the Spartans can get through. There's something else. A helmet was left on board my ship. It was my butters. You wouldn't be talking about this helmet, would you? You found it! This saved me more times than I can count! You've been here long enough. How many ships protect Thelos? You'll never sink them all. We just need to punch a hole in their patrols, enough to send them scrambling. So the helmet from your butter means a lot to you? It does. He pried it from his butter on the battlefield of Thermopylae. The sea's a big place. Where did your ship sink, exactly? Somewhere off the northern coast of Mykonos. We could see Miltiadis' fort as we swam to shore. The sharks will have full bellies when I'm done.
You're back! I overheard fishermen telling tales of the Adrestia cutting through the sea. The Athenian navy is scrambling. Ah! Let their blood feed the sharks. The Athenians will retaliate for what I've done unless we hit them first. If that's the plan, we attack their commanders. Athenians are sheep. Kill the shepherd, and the flock will flee. March on them, and they'll see you coming. I work better alone. I'll take care of these commanders. You're going straight for their throats. Still, leave some Athenian blood for me. I need to know where to find them. Kira's spies tracked all three of them. One guards the quarry, one's camped nearby. And the third? Him, we don't know. I want names, Thaletas. This Andros commands the Athenian elite guard. Polemion is their strategist. And the last, a general named Neoclis, is missing. When the commanders are dead and more Spartans arrive, there will be plenty of blood for both of us. 